Good afternoon, Parramatta. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I've got a story to tell you today, and it's about Jesus. And, and the topic he is talking about, I spoke last time about the rapture of the church. I'm going to uh, speak more about it today. But basically, it's the seven seals of God that's revealed in the book of Revelation. And this is a time when the Antichrist is revealed. And so that comes after we've been raptured. And so um, next time I preach, I'll preach about all those ho different coloured horses and what they represent. But today, I'm going to be talking about the first rapture of the church. And so it's for, it's very important to know uh, the order of things because in the book of Revelation, it talks about the sea of glass and that's the righteous saints that are in heaven. And so that happens before the seven seals of God. And so the important thing to know is this, that the book of Revelation in 5.9 says, God did not appoint us to suffer wrath. And so you need to know who can go in the rapture. Very, very important because it talks about, um, uh, about the actual rapture. I'll talk about that in a moment. But the important thing is to know if you're ready to go. And the Bible says very clearly that unless you're born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God, or nor can you enter the kingdom of God. So that is the prerequisite to being raptured. So if you're not born again, do something about it today, is because we're here to minister the Holy Spirit and the baptism of the Holy Spirit to you. But what it says in Luke 17, 26, it talks about, and up to that day, it's talking about the rapture, and I'm going to read from the Bible about that. It says here, Just as it was in the days of Noah, so also will it be in the days of the Son of Man. People were eating, drinking, marrying, and being given in marriage up to the day Noah entered the ark. Then the flood came and destroyed, destroyed them all. So it's also, it says here, it was the same in the days of Lot. People were eating and drinking and having, uh, buying and selling, planting and building. But the day Lot left Sodom, fire and sulfur rained down from heaven and destroyed them all. And so we're talking about now, that's what happened in the past. But when we're talking about the rapture of the church, it says basically on the same thing it talks about here on the day uh, that the Son of Man appears to take us up, it will be a time afterwards of great death on earth. In other words, great, great uh, evil. And so what happens, God takes us out of this because the tribulation starts when we go. But also the Antichrist is revealed as we go. So don't be left behind. That's what it's very important to know is that if you're left behind, uh, it's not a good time to be on earth. It's better to be raptured, lifted up to be with Jesus. It's a painless operation. You just go straight up to be with him. But only if you made yourself ready and you believe that you're going to go with Jesus when he comes. So very important message for the world. Uh, and God is no respecter of persons, so it doesn't matter what religion you're in, what you need to do is receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and we minister that. You just simply pray a prayer, and that prayer is asking Jesus to come into your heart. And when you ask that, the Holy Spirit is Jesus, and He comes into your heart, and you'll be ready for the rapture. So what a wonderful thing. But and so what you need to know about Jesus is this, that his name is the Lamb of God. He was brought into the world to die for the sins of mankind. And so that's what he did. When they put him on the cross, he took upon himself all our sins. And it's for all people, for all time, and for all sin. And so what's happened is this, is that you need to believe that's how you receive. You believe and you will receive. 
But the interesting thing about being born again, it's another dimension because what happened when the uh, 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 disciples went to Jerusalem to receive the Holy Spirit, they went. So that was an act. They went, they waited, and they received. And that's what they did. If they didn't go and they didn't wait, they wouldn't have received the Holy Spirit. It's as simple as that. And so that's what we need to do. We need to do something because what happens is that Jesus himself says, uh, unless a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. It goes on further to say, if he's not born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. The very, very powerful words by Jesus. And that was speak, speaking to those uh, who, Father, needed to hear the message. And that was the disciples around him. And so that's when he was teaching them something very special. And that was baptism of the Holy Spirit is infilling of the Holy Spirit. And so what happens when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you receive great power. It's God power because when Jesus says, what you see me do, you do. And so, and the Bible also says, greater things you will do in my name. And so how can you do these things unless you're empowered? And so what the baptism of the Holy Spirit is empowering Christians. So let it be so in your lives. All you have to do is ask. So God bless you all. Thank you.